Hi, my name is Philip. I'm a technology solutions consultant with Bloomreach for a bit over a year now. And in this short video, I'm going to show you a rudimentary version of integrating our native iOS SDK into an application. But before we can come to this, we have a few points to cover. First, we take a quick glance at the few things that you need to do this on your own. Second, we are going to visit our single source of truth, namely the GitHub repository, where you can find said SDK. And last, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the SDK in a freshly created project. Moreover, I will guide you through a simple app to showcase some of its features. As for the things that you need, first and foremost, you will fare much better the more knowledgeable you are in iOS development. The app that I will show you later is also just an example, as I'm not an iOS developer myself. If you decide to use this in production, you should definitely get a more professional view on this topic. Next, you will need the Apple IDE Xcode. You can find and download it in the App Store using a Mac. Needless to say, this won't work on any other platform than macOS. To install the SDK within your project, you will need either CocoaPods or Carthage. I'm using the former one. You can find information about CocoaPods on their website along with instructions how to install it using Gem. But you can also use Homebrew for a simple installation as well. With this, you should be set and ready to go. But let's take a brief detour to the SDK's repository at GitHub. You can find it quite easily by Googling it. In this repository, you can find all the most up-to-date information more detailed guides on integrating this SDK, as well as an extensive documentation of all of its features. Moreover, it comprises handy instructions like a step-by-step -step guide and numerous usage examples. Let's jump over to Xcode. Before we dive into the Showcase app, let's create a new project and use CocoaPods to install the Exponia SDK. For that, create a new Xcode project. Choose iOS as your platform and enter a project name of your liking. Xcode will populate the project with all the boilerplate files that you need to get started right away. After that's done, create a new file in the root directory of your project called pod file. Therefore, use the empty file from the templates. Open it and enter the lines you see on the screen. For the iOS version, you can look up the one which is used in the project by visiting the build settings. As for the SDK version, please refer to the GitHub repo to get the most recent release. Now you can save the file and close Xcode. Switch to the terminal and cd into your project's directory. All you have to do now is to run the pod install command. The output in the terminal will indicate you to use the newly created Xcode workspace file to reopen your project. After doing so, you will be able to import the Exponia SDK inside your project files. Moreover, you can find the SDK in the project navigator on the left pane. Let's have a look at the Showcase app now. As you can see here, I used the same method of implementing the SDK. Taking a look at the app itself, it was built using the storyboard approach and comprises a few very simple scenes. For now, only these two are interesting to us. To be more precise, only the initialize Exponia SDK button. In the corresponding view controller, we have to import the SDK first. Then, after connecting the button programmatically, we can assign a function which initializes the SDK with a provided configuration. Theoretically, you can copy and paste all those values directly from Bloomreach as strings in here. But I've decided to create a JSON file with that information and load it into the app. A note here, you can set the SDK's logger to verbose mode to see some more details in the console. Now let's start the app and test this out. All there is to do now is to navigate to this screen and press the aforementioned button. The app shows now that the SDK is initialized, but we can also see some output in the console. To confirm that this worked, we have to grab the cookie that was assigned to this client. We can find it easily by searching for it in the console. Let's copy it and switch to the corresponding project in Bloomreach. Here we can search for that cookie 
which should result in one customer profile. Inside that profile, we can open the first session event and confirm that it was sent by the Exponia iOS SDK. Mm -hmm.